Shuddhadvaita Sanskrit Suddhadvaita pure non-dualism is the purely non-dual philosophy propounded by Vallabhacharya 1479-1531 CE the founding philosopher and guru of the Vallabha Sampradaya tradition of Vallabha or Pustamarg the path of grace a Hindu Vaishnava tradition focused on the worship of Krishna Vallabhacharya's pure form non-dualist philosophy is different from Advaita the Srinathja temple at Nathdwara, and compositions of eight poets Astachop, including Sir, are central to the worship by the followers of the sect. <laughs> <laughs> Location Though the tradition originated near Vrindavana in the current Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, in modern times followers of Shuddhadvaita are concentrated in the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat. Central topics In the ancient Vedic tradition of knowledge and comprehension of reality, the central theme would be experiencing the supreme entity or Brahman. Vedas primarily contain references to the Advait nature of Brahm. However, depending on how a scholar perceives those verses, s, he might see duality Dwait aspect as well. This ambiguity has led to several philosophical traditions in the Indian history, such as Advaita Vada of Adi Shankaracharya, Vishistadvaita Vada of Ramanujacharya, Dvaita Vada or Beta Vada of Madhvacharya, Dvaitadvaita Vada of Nimbarkacharya, Shuddhadvaita Vada of Vishnu Swami popularized by Vallabhacharya, Achintya Beta Beta Vada of Krishna Chaitanya. Vallabhacharya <laughs> Vallabhacharya was a devotional philosopher, who founded the Pushti sect in India. He won the title of Acharya by travelling and debating Advaita scholars from a young age. In 1493–94 Vallabhacharya is said to have identified an image of Krishna at the Gavardhan hill at Braj. This image, now called Srinathja and located at Nathdwara, Rajasthan, is central to the worship by Vallabha followers. Topic. Initiating mantra According to Vallabha tradition, one night in 1494, Vallabhacharya received the Brahmamsambandha mantra the mantra that binds one with Brahman, or Krishna from Krishna himself hence the name, Mukavatara at Gokula. The eight-syllable mantra, Shri Kursna Saranam Mama Lord Krishna is my refuge, is passed on to new initiates in Vallabh Sampradaya, and the divine name is said to rid the recipient of all impurities of the soul doses. <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy The school of in-essence monism or purified non-dualism of Vallabha sees equality in essence of the individual self with God. There is no real difference between the two like the analogy of sparks to fire. However, unlike Shankara's Advaita, Vallabha does not deny God as the whole and the individual as the part. The individual soul is not the supreme satsitananda clouded by the force of avidya, but is itself Brahman, with one attribute ananda rendered imperceptible. The soul is both a doer and enjoyer. It is atomic in size, but pervades the whole body through its essence of intelligence like sandalwood makes its presence felt through its scent even if sandalwood can't be seen. Unlike Advaita, the world of Maya is not regarded as unreal, since Maya is nothing else than a power of Ishvara. He is not only the creator of the universe but as the universe itself. Vallabha cites the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad account, that Brahman desired to become many, and he became the multitude of individual souls and in the world. Although Brahman is not known, he is known when he manifests himself through the world. Bhakti is the means of salvation, though jnana is also useful. Karmas precede knowledge of the Supreme, and are present even when this knowledge is gained. The liberated perform all karmas. The highest goal is not mukti or liberation, but rather eternal service of Krishna and participation along with his activities in his divine abode of Vrindavana. Vallabha distinguishes the transcendent consciousness of Brahman as Purushottama. Vallabha lays a great stress on a life of unqualified love and devotion towards God. In all the philosophical traditions, it is common practice to describe how the supreme entity Brahm is related to us and our surroundings. 
In the system of Suddhadvait Vedant, otherwise known as Brahmvad, the one, secondless ultimate reality is the only category. Every other thing has proceeded from it at the time of creation, is non-different from it during creation and merges into it at the time of dissolution. The two other well-known categories namely the animate souls and the inanimate objects are respectively its parts and modifications. The animate souls are its parts because they retain to some extent the essential qualities thereof namely consciousness and joy. The inanimate objects are its modification because the above said qualities are absent therein. Everything is Krishna's Leela According to the version of Vaishnava theology Vallabhacharya espoused, the glorious Krishna in his Satsitananda form is the absolute, Svayam Bhagavan. He is permanently playing out his sport Leela from his seat in the Goloka which is even beyond the divine Vaikuntha, the abode of Vishnu and Satya Loka, the abode of Brahma the Creator, and Kailas, the abode of Shiva. Creation is his sport. Topic. Path to bliss in the Kali Yuga Followers of Vallabhacharya maintain that if one wants to obtain moksha and the bliss given by Krishna, the only path to do so is bhakti. In the Kali Yuga, it is believed that the forms of bhakti mentioned in the scriptures are nearly impossible to practice, so the followers of Vallabhacharya recommend pushti bhakti, which is the end itself and not means to an end, giving moksha, joy and oneness with Sri Krishna. It illustrates oneness with Shri Krishna can be achieved merely by having true belief and love for Shri Krishna and recitation of the Brahmamsambandha mantra. Atma Nivedana It is that bhakti which gives itself up body, heart and soul to the cause of God. It is considered to be the fullest expression of what is known as Atma Nivedana equals giving up of oneself among the nine forms of bhakti navada bhakti it is the bhakti of the devotee who worships god not for any reward or presence but for his own sake such a devotee goes to goloka after leaving this body and lives in eternal bliss enjoying the sports of the lord the classical example of this complete self effacement is that of the cow herdesses towards krishna they spoke no word except prayer and they moved no step except towards krishna their supreme most meditation was on the lotus feet of Krishna, thus it is by God's grace alone that one can obtain release from bondage and attain Krishna's heaven, Goloka. Astachop in V.S. 1602, his son Vithalnath, also known as Gusayanji, established the eightfold system of singing the name and glory of Srinathja and entrusted this responsibility to eight poet disciples of Vallabhacharya and his own, called the Ashta Chop after the eight divine services to Srinathja from morning until going to sleep. Foremost among them was Sir, the blind poet of Agra. These are Surtas, Krishna Das, Paramanan Das, Kumban Das, Chitterbuj Das, Nan Das, Chitswami, and Gavind Das. The first four poets and singers were Vallabhacharya's disciples, while the other three were Gusangis. <laughs> Shudadwait Martand Shuddhadwait is defined more thoroughly in verse 27 to 28 from Shuddhadwait Martand. Suddhadvaita paid Janyaya Samasa Karmadaraya I. Advaitam Suddhayo Praha Sasthi Te Purasamam Buddha II. Mayasambandarahitamam Suddhamidiyusyate Budhai I. Karyakaranarapamam Hai Sudham Brahma Na Mayakama II. It is Karmdare Samas, Shudam Ch Tat Advaitam, the pure and its non-dualism. Or, it is the Shashti Tat Purish Samas Shuddho Advaitam, the non-dual is pure. In this system, the combination of Maya with Brahm is done away with, therefore the cause of this world is not Brahm covered by Maya. But the pure Brahm and only pure Brahm is the effect and cause of this world. The Shuddhadvaita philosophy has also been explained by various scholars of the sect, such as Devarshi Ramanath Shastri, who has enunciated the tenets of this philosophy in his books Shuddhadvaita Siddhantasar Hindi and Gujarati and Shuddhadvaita Darshan. <laughs> Notes <laughs>